are very effective. Something you got to remember is that when you have CO2, this is your connection line because you have COHN. When you have zinc oxide, when you have copper oxide, you see the CO2 works with everything because the oxygen in all these is the gravitational, is the holding together. Why the CO2 works perfect? Because while the oxygen behaves as a gravitational holding together, here the copper, sorry, the carbon works as a communicator, is the line of communication. This is how its energy is distributed and this is how it positions itself in the structure. This is why whenever you want to transfer information or hold on to information to be able to communicate and in a way to hold everything together, you try to use CO2. This is the clue. That it's the glue to the whole structure with a line of communication. When you use CH3, it's the same. Understand the science behind it, then you don't do it blind, then you can mutate it, do it the way you like. Why does the CH3 work? It creates a line of communication, and then it releases what is needed as the simplest form, as the energy. That's why alcohol, sugar, all are so effective, because they link to the line of communication, which is a carbon, and now the energy is free from the hydrogen to be consumed, to be delivered. That's why you get drunk so fast. That's why we get hyper with the sugar. That's why we receive it. Because if you want to make sure a system connects to amino acids, use the line of communication. If you want to hold on to it, that you can deliver something to it, make sure always you use oxides. Because oxygen is a gravitational field within the structure of the liquid of this planet in the gas state. So, you, once you understand this, then you can play with whatever you need. Because all it happens now, if you go back into the writings of the book and the pattern, this is what we call centralization in a matter state. But in fact, it happens in the gas state too. Now you have a hydrogen available in a gas state for the radiation released by nitrogen or the extra energy to release the extra energy from the hydrogen. That's why the system is so effective. That's why you understand the principle behind it. It's taken me years to develop this. In 1990s, I had developed this, I could see it. But I could always look at it in a matter of state. When we opened the Gans state in early 2000, then it all became apparent. 1990s was completely obvious what it was. But if you look at it in the matter state of the elements, it doesn't make sense because you look for electron positioning. But if you look at it as a plasma, it's absolutely perfect. It fits in correctly, and it does. So. In so many ways, you have to understand how to operate. Why you use oxides? Because with oxides, you lock into. You will understand in the process of the viruses, most of the viruses which come into interaction with the body of the man, usually set at a carbon connection. That's why when you deal with viruses, you look always to use CO2. Because you know you connect in the energy level of the attachment. 
in the line of communication. But you have itself the process of the reduction, which is reduction in energy that it transfers, whatever it is, back to the hydrogen and to be consumed. In a way, if you understand the process fully, you can use the virus's energy to the benefit of the man than to the harming the man, but you have to know how to be attached to it. This is the principle that you will understand a lot of things works. Even in the body of man, with all the salts, they all work through this line of communication, this line of connection, gravity, and line of communication. One, this is the energy. So, understanding the separation between different parts of the amino acid gives you a very good insight in how to operate and how to work. Okay.